Hello, hello folks, this is me, the Trash Man here. Today I'm going to be playing One-Armed Robber. I've got about 10 hours in this game, and this game is honestly super fun. So I'm going to do a quick stealth heist uh, on the uh, jewelry store. I've actually, I don't have any of the paid maps, but I do, I have, I have gotten a good thing. I've almost gotten, I've almost gotten the stealth uh, full clear on a, on a, uh, what's it called, uh, I almost got the stealth full clear on the on the uh, orbital bank map, but sadly on my best run, I got so close, but then uh, I I got caught at the very end due to that one officer who goes up to the stairs and then down the stairs. It's so stupid. It was so dumb. But yeah, no, this map's relatively easy, although doing a full take's really hard, so I'm not actually going to do a full take, since that would take probably make this video 33 minutes long. Because uh, how I do it, since I don't have any of the fancy tools that everyone, that the people who can full clear this map have, um, I ha I'd have to... Uh... Oh, shoot. I forgot about this guy. Okay. So, here's a mechanic, right? Whenever you kill a guard, you have to uh, take their phones and put them up against these pagers. Now, you can only use a pager once before you have to go down to another one for the next guard you kill. Now, you may be wondering why I'm going into this room specifically. Now, the reason I'm going into this room is because this is a guard, as you can see. But, he watches the cameras that you could see uh, very visibly. Crap. Crap. This game's a bit clunky. Uh, he, guard he, he is the reason these cameras are up. And if you get spotted, the alarms trigger. So, we have to go in here, kill him, and obviously, you know, do the phone thing. But now, every camera in the building is offline. And also, everyone in this game is deaf, except for whenever you shoot an actual gunshot. So you're good to shoot however you like with a silence pistol, or run as much as you like. As long as you're not in their uh, line of sight. Obviously, okay. Now we're going to do a quick camera move of killing that guy. We have to drag the body, because if we don't... The guard down there has very keen eyesight and will see us. Okay, so we take this key card out just so we don't have to deal with the guard down there. We'll throw it right here for the stairs. Uh, we have to first grab this to shut down the alarm because this is the utility key card. <clears throat> so we can go into the uh, key card room. And as you can see, we're not getting spotted by the camera because the cameras are, you know, the camera guy's dead. Uh, we can kill this guy just for fun, honestly. Now, there is a glitch sometimes. Maybe maybe it won't happen this time, but there's always, like, some weird thing where whenever I go in here, if I don't kill that guard, some reason he'll always get suspicious for no reason. Now, I'm hoping it's not because of this. This is just my working theory here. Um, so, let's see if he gets... Okay, no, no. We are good. We are good. Let me close this door. Which, actually, we should probably kill this guy anyway. Just so that we don't have to deal with him on our way back. Now, hold up. Where's my key card? Watch this. Boom. We open the vault. Now, if you wanted to do this loud and proud, you'd have to get a drill to drill it open. But I'm not really much of a loud and proud guy since you do lose quite a bit of money sometimes from that. You get a little bit of cut reduction, I think. Or at least that's what I've heard. So I just don't like doing it. And I just, I, I think this is, this in like Hitman games kind of just got that charm. To where doing stuff as stealthily as possible is just really fun. I don't know. I think loud and proud is just kind of its own mood. But stealth is just something I feel like the, this game, especially this game, is based around. It's just, you know, you have to be sneaky. You have to do it as cool as possible. You be able to take your full take without being spotted. That's just the fun of it. I love, like, devising these strategies and consistent ways to do things. And that's that might be just why I find this game fun. And I want to give props to developers just for just making this game so much fun. Um, it's free to play on Steam. Um, there's two paid maps, but there's three, uh, there's three, uh, maps you could play. There's also multiple tools, so, there's, uh, that you can unlock as you level up, which I'm hoping they add more, and I'm hoping they add more maps over time, because that would be the absolute dream, is to see more content come out of this game, because I would just love everything to be able to, you know, continue doing all this. Granted, as long as it's, as long as they don't do the, uh, the old, uh, make everything paid, kind of approach I, I i think that's fine as long as they do it for like you know de you know uh you know slight maps maybe not all of them but at the very least release more free maps i think 
Granted, obviously, I'm not saying right now. Some people I've seen in their Discord kind of try to rush them, uh, pressure them into do it. I don't really like that. I think I think you should give them a bit of time for making maps because I, I think what's good about these, like these first three maps are really well made, in my opinion, to where uh, it'll be hard at first, but there's it's always consistent. It's never, there's never, uh, you know, there's never moments uh, where, you know, the guards will be doing something different than they would on every any other playthrough. So you always got the same chance to do the same strategy, but you can experiment with how guards react to sounds to take out different guards. And like as you get more tools later on, you're able to do stuff like say, uh, you know, use uh, what is it called? Uh, you're able to like use say uh, the hog time method once you're able to lure out the two guards that are in the main store. So like that, so that you can so you can hog tie every single person in there and get a full take for stealth. Like like stuff like that's really cool because <clears throat> you know you can uh you can kind of you can kind of like find new strategies like find you know your best ways to get around stuff, which I think is cool and it's always just cool to see how fast I could do it. Granted, like like I saw this guy yeah who did the hog tie method. I I went with a buddy, and uh, he did the he did the uh, killing stealth work. I went in the main building. And uh, I did the strategy where you can you can push civilians, and I pushed the civilians into the cops' ways so that they couldn't see anything, which I thought was a really cool thing. And since the cameras were off, I were I was able to unlock and steal everything in the building. And uh, that and that's how I was able to uh uh you know win uh, a full take. Granted, what I consider a full take like the first kind of full take without uh you know fancy tools. Which I think is, I it, it just felt accomplished for me. It took me thirty three minutes to do, but it it was really fun. Um, I I, I had a lot of fun with it, and that that's just I I think that the devs really got the good going on here. They have another game, One Armed Cook. I haven't tried that yet, but it looks pretty goofy, and it looks like the old kind of fun that would be had in this type of game. I don't know. I I just want to give a lot of a lot of thanks for the devs because I really like this. Um. Grant, I've I've always liked these little polygon type games where you know they have that little charm to them, because I don't know I I I think I've always liked I I just I just always had a preference for these types of little games where you know you're not like having overall some you know not not everything has to be some complex thing but there is just you know kind of depth in the field of available options like stuff like that. I was like, say I'm playing like some new sixty dollar game. For a triple a thing oh it's gonna have like fifteen thousand, you know <clears throat> fifteen thousand, you know little things i gotta keep track of every time like i don't know um and also it costs money so that but like i i we, with games like these <clears throat> which actually uh now that we're talking about it i'm actually gonna do another level uh let's see if i could do it correctly the uh pegasus museum of art <clears throat> i'm i i just want to you know treat you guys to the beauty of this game but yeah, no, um, you know, there's just, I, I just think that this is one of those games where it's just got that kind of, you know, unique cult classic type charm that I really think uh, goes a long way with making fun games. And I, I don't know, it, <clears throat> it's a lot more fun than uh, quite a bit of uh, those, uh, you know, games I play nowadays. I mean, like, even knowing I've bought a bunch of games, I'm playing the goofy little game. Actually. Yeah, the goofy little game, you know, that was created by, you know, some solo dev team. Um, instead of, you know, the uh, the ones you know, with all the you know, big budget, stuff like that. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I just kind of like these types of games. Granted, I've also been playing Ready or Not, so maybe I just got that kind of a... Uh, uh, kind of that careful type of play style itching right now. That I, that I, I, I think is a very... Uh, I think it's a very fun play style to have uh, for game preferences. Because I I just find I just find these types of games you know kind of you know really fun. I really I, re I really think that uh, a lot of you guys should check this out. It's free to play. Um, you can <clears throat> you can have fun with friends. It's just it, it's just I don't really have any issues with the game. I, I I think it's just a game that will always that will never not be a fun time. Okay, now I usually I usually do this a lot faster. Um, but, uh, I, I, I took a second to pause, 
instead of uh you know take my t instead of uh going quick and i think that's my issue right now so i'll have to do a slow approach okay yeah so i i i i've always had a preference for kind of silly games but this uh, this one's definitely been my little obsession recently Okay, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll kill this guy. As as we know, we'll take this to the pager. We don't want that room. Where's my lockpick? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we'll unlock the uh, room here. There's actually no one in here. This mission I find pretty easy. Um, although the uh, probably next section that comes up will probably be quite difficult. So, wish me luck, everyone. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Get behind, get behind. Crap, 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 crap. Crap. See where he moves. I actually haven't taken this long to do this mission, so I want to see where this guy goes. Okay, it looks like I, I can uh, make a break for it. So now we have to go in the basement to get this uh, utility key card uh, in working order. Oh, yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can walk under these cameras. So I'm going to wait for it to look the other way. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I can go into the utility room. Yeah, there's a thing called a camera blind that I just unlocked, but I haven't paid for uh, just yet for in the with the in-game stuff from robbing. Okay. See the guard. I want to see the guard rotation right now. Is it good enough for me to get my? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a uh, not bueno, no, <laughs> pretty bad, uh, pretty bad uh, idea here, which is just to <clears throat> get my little flimsy uh, little what the heck? Yeah, I have to get my stupid flimsy uh, regular screwdriver, which is what you start with in this game. It's not really good, but it will definitely serve as a tool to get us in. So, we'll see what it does. I actually don't really... I've, I haven't used this screwdriver in quite a while. I don't think it has a use other than multiplayer. Uh, really, once you unlock the newer stuff. Because, at the very least, I will say having multiple screwdrivers uh, for a party is a good thing. Okay. Okay, here's what we'll have to do. So, after I get this... After I jiggle to pick the lock here... Look how long it's taking compared to the other one. Actually, I, yeah, you have to do, like, a little circle motion. Okay, there is a camera... Up there. Let me see if there's any guards here. Here's the hard part. Boom. Yep. Boom. Okay, boom. Okay. <clears throat> now we need that screwdriver again. Because we're doing another thing. There's actually another pager inside this area here. And who we just killed right there was the guy who was guarding the art room. But there's another guard guarding the art room as well. Now, here's where I might need to get my stuff. Okay, boom. 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 Okay. Okay, now I need... Okay. Before I do anything, I need to unlock the upstairs room while that guard isn't watching up there. Yep, yep okay, he's not watching, he's not watching. So I can unlock this. Yeah, I can pick lock this. Here we go, here we go. Okay, there we go, that's picked. Okay, leave my lock pick there. So what I'm gonna do now is I have to wait for this guard's rotation because there's a last the last pager in here that I need before uh, I'm, you know, before everything, uh, I before I collect my reward. Because that guard up there is a very big annoyance for me. So, I think... I think once we uh once we get our bearings here, we will be a okay. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Yep, he's turned around. He does a little uh sneaky peek to the right. Yeah, there you see you have to a little avoid his uh, eye light in there. Once he goes away, I'm gonna go for the kill. Yep, go. We have to uh, make a quick move now to murder this guy. Yep, here we go. So, <laughs> funnily enough, they have very bad vision vision here boom that's it we might have just won here 
Okay. Now is the easiest part of this map. But probably is going to take the longest. Which is hauling every single painting out of this one by one. And I don't feel like shooting these, so. Actually, what's the guard rotation right now? The guard rotation's not looking bad. As long as I'm correct about this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> now you're maybe asking what I'm doing here. I'm going to get my better lock pick so I can pick these locks faster. Yep. Now the cameras are gone, as you can see there, because the camera guy's dead. So, I'm going to be able to run past here. I can jump and balcony my way up here. Okay, where's my lockpick? It's right here. Okay. Now, I can do this. Just go back inside. Because, uh, for the most part, I'm completely safe. Now, it's time for our uh, heisting. So we have just, uh, I'm pretty sure we have just, uh, we are now able to do our full clear of this map. I'm surprised I did that first try, actually. Um, that was really easy. This is probably the easiest map in the game, uh, I'd say. You know, the jewelry store, I may have looked, made it look easy, but to do a full clear of that map is, uh, solo is actually pretty hard. Um, and it requires some coordination and skill. And, uh, you know, the later, later uh, technologies. But this one gets you more money. It may take a little bit longer to do a bunch of money on. I still think that Jewelry Store is the best way to farm XP in this game. Especially because you have to freaking unlock these one by one. Holy cow. <clears throat> yeah. Now, if you're wondering what ha what would happen if I went gun blazing, well, I'd have to... <clears throat> I'd have to turn the game basically into like a... <clears throat> a horde... Like a... Uh, like a wave-based game. Uh, for For a while until I get everything out and leave uh with like the swats and swat teams and all that i mean, honestly it's pretty fun but it just doesn't get you as much as a yield here and it doesn't really give me the satisfaction as stealth does <clears throat> but i don't know i i'd love to see i honestly if these guys make another game they i feel like they could do a really fun job at like a swat game granted i, I might that might be just me speaking out of my uh myself here because i i've been Okay, that's our that's our uh, Mona Lisa there. I'm going to steal everything here. <clears throat> I have, which by the way, I have to do this. I'm pretty sure I have to do this one by one, unless I can uh, unless I can uh, use the bag duffel bag here. Well, my friend my friend told me no, it's too big for that. But I'm gonna try anyway. So, you know, screw him. <laughs> screw him. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> yeah. 5.24k. That's big. That is big money. Yeah, so we're stealing every little bit of... Sorry. Uh, money. Here. Oh, what the heck. Stop seeing me through the window, man. Who looks through windows anymore? We all look through Linux. Not really. I don't use Linux except for uh, my Steam Deck. Hey, call me a swine if you want. <laughs> oh, what? Are these actually just too big for a duffel bag? Hey, no, it's not. I can carry two. As long as I have my freaking bag down here. One. Two. There we go. Okay, look at that. My friend lied to me. You can use this very sparingly for two for two of a heist instead of just one. So uh, this will take twice of less time. So hey, I'm a time saver here, boys. You can't say anything bad about me right now. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Boom, we got 10 16 16K, boys. 16K so far. If I'm correct, this should be a... Sorry, I'm just picking... I'm just, uh... I'm just, uh, itching my nose here. Um, if I'm correct, this should be around 100K yield because the Mona Lisa is worth, like, 50 grand. A lot of moolah. A lot, a lot of moolah. Yep, so we'll do the same as we did with the other one. Just like do a little bit of stuff. Oh, that fell in. There we go. And we got it. Okay. These two are going to the binny. 
<clears throat> yeah. As you can see, I, I've been playing this quite a bit. I know my way around these maps. Bro, I've been, like, devising. I've been finding everything about these maps. I haven't been looking up any guides at all. I've just been, I've just been kind of going, gun, uh, you know, suit, like, I, I've been kind of going, you know, building my own little ecosystem here of learning, uh, what to do and what to not, where, you know, guard rotation, stuff like that. And I, I just find it fun. I, I think this game is definitely probably one of the more fun games I've played, uh, you know, this year, just, just in like the context of, uh, of kind of, kind of where my time's been divided. It's, holy cow, this, this has been like eating my time as I've just been divide, trying to devise every strategy possible to get. Like I've been theory crafting. I was like theory crafting for like a couple days. Uh, not a couple days, like a day. Uh, on how to, on how to do a full clear of. Of uh, you know the uh, jewelry store, and I got my friend on. I was like, hey, I know now, and I did it. I did it. I, I, my original strat for doing the full clear, I was trying to do it solo, but, uh, I don't, I actually don't believe it is possible to do a full clear solo without the, uh, loud tools to distract the, uh, guards that are in there. Because, holy cow, it is not a easy, uh, thing. Maybe there's some other way, there's definitely probably some other way, maybe there's, like, some glitches we can find. To be uh, stealth, stealthy against the cameras, but there's the so the reason that it's so hard for me for doing a full take stealth uh, solo without uh, power tools in uh in this game for solo is because there is a three cameras in one of the areas and they're pointing at every direction, so you'll be seen either pretty much no matter what unless you put like some civilians in front of the cameras, but then you'd have to still have to like maneuver them to be careful. Oh what in the Come on, come on guys, let me just get two. As you can see you just have to it's like freaking playing Tetris. Okay, that is the there's only one more left and that's gonna be our biggest heist by the way. The Mona Lisa. Bro, I am I am the, probably the greatest thief this world has ever seen. I just I just absolutely melted the guards. They got turned into Swiss cheese in a pork grinder. Nah. Yep. And 67k and our final piece. We should have 112k if I'm correct. For once we turn this in. Maybe 117 if it's worth that 50,000. We'll see, boys. We'll see. Okay. Boom. We got the Mona Lisa. Oh my goodness, I did it. Yeah, after you kill the guards, it can get a little bit stagnant, but that's fine. That's just... That's not even a flaw of the game. That's quite literally just... You completed the mission, now just slowly collect your reward. Yeah, this... This level is super easy. There's no tension behind it, I think. Granted, unless you're just going through it for the first couple times, you're going guns blazing. And 112k. I did it! Yeah! 12 minutes and 58 seconds. That's a, that's a world record right there. Not really. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. This was a really fun game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, you should try it out for yourselves.